Around five decades ago, Cyrus Leventhal, an American molecular biologist, postulated that if a protein were to sample every possible conformation of its amino acids, it would take longer than the age of the universe to assemble into its three-dimensional shape. Although scientists had been studying proteins for decades prior, the mystery of how proteins could reliably fold into their conformations on a millisecond scale had remained unanswered. In the many years since studies of protein folding began, the question of how proteins fold has been slowly unraveling, and today, it is possible to predict proteins' structures based on their amino acid sequences. Recently, artificial intelligence has been able to quickly and accurately determine the conformation of proteins from their amino acid sequence, which will enable tremendous advancements in microbiology and further our understanding and application of proteins for medicine. Proteins are integral to the functions of any living cells, serving a wide array of purposes ranging from mechanical support of cell membranes, to catalyzing reactions, to signaling between cells. A protein's function is dependent on its structure, as most functions of proteins require a specific binding of proteins to substrates or other proteins, something that in turn requires specific three-dimensional arrangements and orientations of atoms. With the sequencing of the first protein and the determination of another protein's 3D structure by X-ray crystallography in the 1950s, researchers were naturally curious to determine how and why proteins folded as they did. Several hypotheses existed for how proteins obtained their conformations, including ribosomal modifications, thermodynamic principles, and guidance from other cellular components. In spite of the elementary tools available to them, many researchers isolated proteins, denatured them, and observed their renaturation in different conditions. The American scientist Christian Anfinsen was among the first to propose a theory for how proteins folded, a theory that would remain generally accepted for two decades. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, Anfinsen was studying ribonuclease A, a small protein responsible for cleaving single-stranded RNA, and observed that the protein could refold on its own in vitro. He proposed that the amino acid sequence of a protein was enough information for the protein to fold correctly, and it did so in such a way as to kinetically find the stable configuration with the lowest possible free energy. Anfinsen was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work, and many other researchers replicated and investigated the refolding properties of RNAs A. The self-renaturation phenomenon was also described for other proteins in vitro, and it became general knowledge that proteins folded into their conformations without any cellular help. Anfinsen's theory was challenged in the 1970s, when bacteria with recombinant genes were used to manufacture certain proteins on a mass scale. Instead of forming properly folded proteins, bacterial methods formed aggregates of misfolded proteins having the same amino acid sequence, but drastically differing structures. Several other discoveries, including the trafficking of proteins across membranes, raised questions about the theory that proteins folded completely on their own. In the late 1980s, researchers in Germany and the United States demonstrated a protein that assisted the refolding process of proteins that had crossed into the mitochondria of yeast cells. The team also found a similar protein in E. coli and determined its 3D conformation. Although some others at first did not accept these findings, the discovery of these proteins in other organisms made it clear that proteins sometimes needed additional help to fold properly. A protein's amino acid sequence does indeed dictate its conformation, and chaperones can help proteins fold correctly by providing an environment where interactions between a protein and its surroundings favor certain conformations. Once a protein is made in the ribosome, a combination of local and non-local interactions form the secondary and tertiary structures. 
The primary motifs of protein secondary structures are alpha helices and beta sheets, which form as a result of hydrogen bond interactions between amide hydrogens and carbonyl oxygens. In addition to alpha helices and beta sheets, turns, loops, and other structures can form due to hydrogen bonds. The tertiary structure is determined primarily by the interactions of the amino acid side chains, which contribute to hydrogen bonding, disulfide bridges, and ionic bonding. The tertiary structure is also dependent on the orientations of hydrophobic and hydrophilic side chains inward and outward from the protein, respectively. These processes happen in a pathway that minimizes the resulting free energy of the protein, consistent with Anfinsen's theory. Chaperonins are the proteins that stabilize other proteins to ensure that they fold properly. Chaperonins have a large chamber in their center, where unfolded protein chains are shielded from other unfolded proteins to prevent aggregation. In addition, because the chamber of chaperonins is shielded from cytosol, chaperonins can display hydrophobic groups on the inside to promote proteins to display hydrophobic chains on their outside, which is necessary for certain types of proteins. In some cases, proteins would not be able to fold into proper conformations without the actions of chaperonins. Misfolding and aggregation of proteins has been linked to many diseases, including Alzheimer's, ALS, and cancer, as misfolded proteins or aggregates halt normal cellular functions, hence the importance of understanding protein folding and misfolding for medical applications. Alongside the discoveries that gave us a more complete understanding of how proteins fold, researchers had been sequencing proteins, analyzing their 3D structure, and using already studied proteins to predict the structures of newly discovered proteins. Methods for predicting secondary structures computationally arose in the late 1980s, aided by new computational models of interatomic forces. In 1994, an event known as Critical Assessment of Protein Structure Prediction was founded to test and compare methods of predicting protein structures from their amino acid sequences. Since its founding, CASP has seen huge developments in predicting previously unknown secondary and tertiary structures, as well as detecting evolutionary homologs. With great advancements in computing in the last decade, the prediction of protein structures has become as much a computational problem as a biophysical one, with artificial intelligence increasingly being implemented to solve the puzzle. In 2018, AlphaFold, an artificial intelligence system designed specifically to develop 3D models of protein structure, first participated in CASP, with results well above those of other groups. AlphaFold initially used data from previously studied proteins to predict the distances between amino acids and thus create a model of where amino acids should be located relative to each other. The algorithm also incorporates geometric constraints on the amino acid orientations for improved precision in the final structure. AlphaFold again participated in CASP in 2020 and attained a total score of around 90 out of 100 a result that indicates near-exact agreement with experimentally obtained structures. Although the system's predictions did not agree as well with nuclear magnetic resonance images, X-ray diffraction pattern data for the majority of tested proteins was accurate to within a few angstroms. AlphaFold was also used to determine the structure of a protein that had been eluding scientists for a decade, and correctly determined it in half an hour. The impressive results demonstrated by AlphaFold's deep learning system have already begun to revolutionize computational protein structure prediction, and in the future will be implemented for drug design, studying diseases, and design of synthetic proteins. By comparing the structures of genetically mutated proteins to normal ones, as well as modeling how misfolded proteins interact with other proteins, Predictive AI will make it easier to determine how mutations lead to disease without laboratory tests. 
predicting the structures of new proteins will also allow researchers to analyze whether a certain protein could have specific binding sites and thus be used in therapeutics. Analysis of the evolutionary pathways of proteins based on commonalities in the genetic code and structures with AI technology will allow for great advancements in genomics. When Cyrus Leventhal posed his famous protein folding paradox in 1969, the activity of protein folding was rarely thought about in biology. Yet, in only 50 short years, scientific advancements have not only allowed us to understand how proteins fold in cells, but to accurately model the process and predict the resulting structures with computational methods. While more is being uncovered about the process of protein folding every day, the computational advancements already made will help us to develop novel therapeutics, model diseases, and understand genealogical proteomics. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, check out more videos on the channel for other interesting topics, or subscribe to the channel for more educational documentaries.